This is the Flint Ink Color Quiz um, on paper. Primarily what it's demonstrating is if you take the same process ink and you print it on different substrates, you get different results. And that's true even for metallic printing. What's nice about process printing is that there's a lot of things called ICC, which will try to take a color here and a color there and try to tell you how you can match it and how to do that. Um, and that does work in some cases, some of these samples it won't work. But what I'm trying to show you here is this is a variety of different substrates and the results different colors. When we're dealing with metallics, we run into the same thing. When you're dealing with an SBS board and the colors that you're going to get off that versus a nice coated sheet, those colors are not going to match. And the one thing I can tell you is when it comes to metallics and trying to match metallics, the only way to truly get the color that you're going to get from a printing process is to actually produce it on that stock. ICC in metallics means I can't calculate. That means you're not going to take an instrument and software and a reading off this sheet and trying to match to that one. It just does not work. So that's one of the advantages of the ColorLogic system is we allow our licensed printers to produce their own swatch book so now they are giving their swatch book away to their clients and that's based on the substrate they used, the processes or the, uh, the way their press has been set up and any coating that might have been used. Again, that's a key advantage when working with metallics and color logic is now you have 250 predictable colors that you can supply your client because you produced them off your press to begin with. I'd like to thank everyone for sending these samples in. And again, just trying to talk to you a little bit about color logic and color management and how it works for communicating color consistently from press to design.